We're now starting with the second part of this lesson, which is finding the LCM, which is called the lowest com common multiple. So the way we approach this is we try to find the GCF between the numbers that are given to us. And then we see what are the common factors are between any of that's left. So in any two of them, and if in the end, anybody who's left over kind of gets included. Um, I'll show you what they mean by that. So here are the numbers given to us. They've already done the prime factorization for them. So I'm just going to write them down. So in this example over here, the first thing we would do to do is see if there's anything common between all three. Okay, so we want to get what is common between the GCF, right? Another word. So this is common between all three. So that definitely gets included. Then my try is usually to see if there's something even common between two of them. So if there was like a five that was common here and here, I would only write it once. Okay, but I can see that nothing is actually common left anymore. So this 5, there's not anything common with either 12 or 14, so it will also get included. This 2 is also loner, it will also get included. This 3 is also left alone, and then this 7 is also left alone. Okay, and you multiply all of them, and when you multiply all of those numbers together, your 2 times 5 is 10, uh, 10 times 6 is 60, and then 60 times a 7 is 420. So in this case, our lowest common um, factor in here is 420. It kind of goes against the idea of lowest common multiple. Um, it's actually a bigger number than the greatest common factor. So it kind of goes opposite. The way I see it is that the LCM just loves everybody, the L for LCM. It wants to include everybody, okay? So it tries to get a GCF and then it tries to get anything that is um, left over. Another way of thinking about LCM is also that you want to include all the factors, but you don't want to repeat the numbers. So if something is repeated in two or three of them, you only want to count it once. Okay, so this 5, this 2, this 3, and this 7 weren't repeated, but this 2 was repeated in all 3, so I only counted it once. Okay, so LCM is a little trickier than GCF to follow, but we are going to take a look at more examples after this.